The Mighty Ducks is notoriously one of the most popular hockey movies of all time. I mean, you got Miracle on Ice, Mighty Ducks, a couple others. But growing up, this movie, one of my favorites of all movies out there, or no matter what I was watching. But today we got a pretty cool video. There's a roster sharing on the PS4 edition of NHL 22 where there is a Mighty Ducks team from the movies. The overalls are crazy, but I felt like let's do it. Let's do two, three year simulation with the Mighty Ducks. They're going to be playing as the Anaheim Ducks. And let's take a look at the roster here. Any Mighty Ducks fans are going to remember this. I don't need help from the coach. Oh my God, we need to fire our coach. We need to fire our coach and make some changes here. I'm going to go make sure everyone's on the squad here. There we go. A couple of guys. <laughs> all right. Let me go check out the roster. I'll make sure all the real players are on the team. I'll be back in a second. All right. We got most of the line set here. So let's look into this team here. So first line, we got Jesse Hall, Gordon Bombay, Coach Bombay here, five foot seven. I guess their, their heights and, and weights probably not the... 129 pounds they're all just so small that's so funny yeah so jesse hall coach gordon bombay and guy jermaine on that first line honestly we gotta get adam banks up there with charlie conway for sure and then have gordon bombay in the middle they're all just the center so it doesn't really matter second line ken Wu, jesse hall and then Guy Germain. So that first line now has Adam Banks and Charlie Conway, two of the stars of the movie. I mean, this right here, the two stars and coach. Love them all three. Then we got Mendoza playing with Lester Averman and Dwayne Robertson. And then fourth line, we just need a, we didn't have enough players, so we got Brad May. Trevor Zegers can be playing that fourth line. Surprised I'm a superstar X Factor. But what do I know? And then Tommy Duncan, 73 overall. Defensively, Connie Monroe, or Morrow, not Monroe, oh my. And then, it's been a while since I've watched, guys. It's been a while since I've watched. This is all a memory. <laughs> this is all like a memory whirlwind right now, but all five, 729 pounds. None of them are superstar X Factors, though, which sucks. Um, second line, Dean Portman with Russ Tyler. And then finally, Dave Karp and Bogan Rafferty. And then in the cage, they got Gaffney, Julie Gaffney, and then Goldberg. He's got to have 100% shooting. This guy's an absolute beauty. But that is the roster. I mean, a sick team. I'm going to simulate two, probably two years here, see how they play. But let's see. I'm going to predict. We got to have some predictions in there, right? We got to have some predictions. So the leading goal scorer will be, if it's anything like real life, it'll be Adam Banks. He's going to be the leading goal scorer here. And Charlie Conway is going to be our clutch player. That's my official prediction. Leading goal scorer, Adam Banks, the clutch player in the playoffs if we make it there. Charlie Conway. I will see you guys at the end of this season and we'll take a look at all of the stats. With year number one of the Mighty Ducks team coming to an end, we lead the division with 53 wins, 24 losses, 5 overtime losses, 3 0.7 goals per game so definitely lighting it up only 2.66 against the tendy julie was an absolute beast 27 percent on the power play love to see that and the penalty kill 87 percent we're just dominating the special teams on the road fantastic on home pretty good eight shorthanded goals for but who led our team in scoring and it wasn't adam banks it was charlie conway is he listed as a sniper two way forward Adam Banks is a playmaker. Okay, I probably should have looked at the lines before before making that uh, that prediction. But Charlie Conway, 63 goals, 104 points, plus 55. Adam Banks, 86 points, 68 assists. And Gordon Bombay, what is he listed as? A playmaker as well. So probably not the best idea to have both of these players playing with Charlie Conway. But we, we, can make, uh, we can make up for that and take a lot of playmakers on this team. Eh? Two-way forward. Is there a sniper? Who would be the sniper? No sniper on this team, eh? Okay, well, I guess there's nothing we can really do there. But let's take a look at the rest of the team. Ken Wu, 62 points. Jermaine Germain, or not Jermaine Germain. I'm reading a UFC fighter. Guy Germain, 47 assists, 61 points. Jesse Hall, 60 points. Bolton Reed, 57. Russ Tyler, Connie Monroe, or Morrow. Trevor Segrist, 35 points. 
Bradme, and then our worst player is Bro Brogan Rafferty, 10 points. But I mean, a pretty solid team. Let's look at our goaltending. It's going to be insane. So Gaffney, <laughs> 43, 15, and 4, 9, 12 save percentage, 2.5 goals against, 2 assists on the year. Let's look at the entire league, see if we led the way. I doubt we did. Oh, God, look at all these these old tendies here. Terry Sawcheck. I guess we're, we're in a different t uh, time period right now. I don't know what year I'm in, but this is crazy. Don't know what year I'm in, but that's all right. Let's go take a look at all skaters who led the way. Nikita Kucherov, first place, then Charlie Conway, Conor McDavid, Martin St. Louis, and there's four Wayne Gretzky's. Wayne Gretzky, okay. Four Wayne Gretzky's. All played relatively the same, so I mean, good for him. <laughs> Mario Lemieux, ooh, Patty E. Kane, Gordie Howe. Paul Coffey, what year am I in? I'm so confused, Adam Banks. But Charlie Conway does lead the league in scoring, so love to see that. But let's get into the playoffs. Who do we have? We have the Edmonton Oilers. So Connor McDavid and Wayne Gretzky, I believe, is on this team as well. So, I mean, a tough game here. We'll simulate a couple of games. One to one after two. We take a two to one series lead. Can we take... A three. Okay, we're going to a best of three versus the Edmonton Oilers here. There it is. Let's slow simulate this last one. Up three to two in round one versus the Edmonton Oilers. Two goals in the first period. Brad May, Aveman. Oh, yeah. Charlie Conway, Adam Banks. Reed gets a goal for us. And Dan Poo scores as we take that one. Five to one. Love to see that. We have advanced to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs where we will face the Vancouver Canucks. Let's say wait a couple games here. They're coming off a seven game series and we're up two to one after three games. Game number four gets smoked. So it's back to a two to two series lead. Okay, do or die. If we lose, we are eliminated from the Stanley Cup playoffs. Come on boys, first period. It's not a good start. Mark Messier, Marcus Naslin. Okay, this is a good team. This is a good team. It's not a bad team here in the Vancouver Canucks. Second period, we get one back. It's Charlie Conway. Who did I tell you was going to be the most clutch? Told you it's going to be Charlie Conway. Huge penalty kill. Down 2-1. to one. If we lose, we go home. Come on, Anaheim. The mighty Ducks. Show us something. You can't go down. Can't go down. And there it is. Jermaine scores on Thatcher Demko to make it a 2-2 two to two game. But Trevor Linden... Gets a goal. Come on, boys. I sim the rest, and it, it wasn't what we wanted. That team is really good, though. We fall 4-2. to two. Charlie Conway leads the way. But let's quickly go to the draft here. And we got to get one more season in. Just one more. We're not going to go too crazy with this. One season. Detroit wins the Stanley Cup. I mean, that's all right. The Anaheim Ducks. We will be back. I promise you that. If you retired players, any of these old chumps going to retire, there we go. Brandon Dubinsky, Adam Green. Johnny Boychuk, Victor, uh, Vladimir Sobaka, Roman Polak. Polak retiring is a little bit young. Oh my God, that's a great pitcher, Polak. Oh my, this is this is a whirlwind here. Let's keep going. Let's keep this simulation going. We're not going to worry about signing anyone at this draft. Actually, I want to see who goes first overall, just out of, out of curiosity. Shane Wright, so it's the same draft class as I thought it would be. So simulate that. None of these guys are going to be making our team anyways. Let's just keep going. I think everyone should still be under contract. Let me go to the re-sign stage, show you guys all the squad. Okay, no one's under contract. So I'm going to bring all these guys back, and I'll see you guys in the new year. All right, the second year is here. One more year, and we got Charlie Conway playing with Adam Banks, and this time we got Guy Jermaine playing on that first line. Second line, Ken Wu. Gordon Bombay and Jesse Hall. Third line, we got Luis Mendoza. Trevor Zegers was probably old, young enough to play with them. Let's be honest here. We'll let him play with them. And then a Dwayne Robinson. Fourth line, we have Max Jones and Sam Steele. Two young guys. We just needed to fill the roster space. Uh, it looks like I forgot to sign two guys. And then Lester Averman. And then on the defensive end, we got Connie Monroe, Fulton Reed, Russ Tyler, Dean Portman, Scott Niedemeyer. We need some veteran leadership out there. And Brian Allen, probably two guys I also forgot to sign. My apologies. But in the Nets, we still have Julie Gaffney and Greg Goldberg. Let's get it going. I will see you guys, hopefully in the playoffs. We got some redemption here last season. So let's make it count.
Another year in the books and the Anaheim Ducks once again win the division 53 21 and 8 this year another good year 3.84 goals four per game a little bit higher goals against average this year 25 percent on the power play and it's in 30 percent oh, vancouver are we gonna have to play vancouver in round one it looks like we might have to penalty kill 82 percent home ice we were fantastic away we were fantastic as well but who and there it is charlie conway leads the team once again in goals again 63 goals making that back-to-back -back years with 63 goals good for charlie conway adam banks 92 jermaine 82 hall reed reed look at nine goals 65 helpers love to see that ken Wu, uh gordon bombay portman everyone just kind of going at it zegris 29 points the young man not playing too hot for us but that's all right let's check the entire league Charlie Conway does lead the league in scoring and points this year. Paul Coffey had 91 assists. Must be a playmate offensive defenseman. Beast Wayne Gretzky up there for three of the four. Sidney Crosby. Oh, what a handsome fellow that man is. Sidney Crosby, Adam Oves, Sergey Fedorov. So many good players here. All these veterans. Pat Lafontaine. Tim Stutzla. All right. Who's on Ottawa? Just off curiosity. Who is on the Ottawa Senators? Doug Gilmore's in the AHL. Oh my God, John Tavares, Phil Kessel, <laughs> Lanny McDonald. So many good players in the AHL just tearing it up. But I just want to see who the Ottawa Senators have quickly. You know, everyone knows I'm a big Sense fan. Okay, so they have Sergey Gonchar, Dick Clapper, N uh, Nelson Emerson, Steve Thomas, Mike Fisher. Oh man, Mike Fisher. Oh, that's a legend right there. An Ottawa Senators legend. No, um, Jason Spezza or Daniel Offertson. Interesting. Very confused on that. But Charlie Conway just leading the way. But we have a rematch versus the Vancouver Canucks in round one. Can we get over them? I know we had a rough, a rough go last year, but let's get the simulation going. Can we win a Stanley Cup with the Mighty Ducks? Two to one in the series. Game three, we fall. Two to two. We had so many more wins than them. There it is. Seven to four win. And can we close out the Vancouver Canucks here in six games? After two periods, we fall one nothing. So we're going to game seven. Is the Vancouver Canucks really going to be our kryptonite in this? Come on. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, Vancouver. Game seven, home ice advantage. First period. Second period, one nothing lead. For the Anaheim Ducks, Bo Horvat ties up the game, but Robertson answers back right away as they have Mark Andre Fleury as attendee right now. Penalty kill, we're able to kill it off. Come on, Charlie Conway, give me one. Banks, anyone, just give me one more goal. I'm gonna quit him. There it is. Robertson, did he get a hat trick? I think Robertson may have got the hat trick. Oh no, Tyler scored the first goal. My apologies. Robertson, big game from him though as he secures a game seven win for the Anaheim Ducks as we get past our rivals, the Vancouver Canucks. Who do we got in round number two? And it's Wayne Gretzky and the Los Angeles Kings who are coming off of a sweep. So it's going to be a tough series, but we are up three to nothing. Three close games, but up three to nothing. Can we close them out? Falling in overtime game four. And there it is. All close games, one goal games for everything, but we take care of the Los Angeles Kings, and now we have the Chicago Blackhawks. Can we keep the good times rolling here? Up two to nothing right away. I'm confident. Four nothing. Oh, eight one loss. Okay, back to two to two. Maybe I should have said confident, but that's a huge win to make it three to two series lead in favor of the. Okay, we're going to game seven. Game number seven, Western Conference Finals. The Chicago Blackhawks are visiting the Anaheim Ducks. Come on, boys. First period, goals by Charlie Conway and Sam Steele. You got Brad Richards, the guy who got stopped, caught with cocaine, I think it was, and Jeremy Roenick. Second period, Zegris, Hall, and Robinson. Third period, I just went with the quick sim, and it ended up working as we score seven goals in game number seven. And we are going all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, where we will meet with Mario Lemieux, Evgeny Malkin, Sidney Crosby, Chris Letang, the Pittsburgh Penguins, a one-to-one -one series after two games. We take game number two. This is a huge game. If we win this, it's our Stanley Cup. There it is. A 
to one series lead for the Mighty Ducks. Can they become Stanley Cup champions here? Averman gets a huge goal to give us a 3-2 lead over the Penguins. Power play. Come on, boys. 10 minutes left before the Anaheim Ducks can become Stanley Cup champions. The Mighty Ducks, I should say, not the Anaheim Ducks. Oh, Jake Gensel. Jake the Snake. We got to go into the game for this. We got to go into the game for this. We have one Superstar X Factor. That's probably what slowed this down a little bit. If we had more Superstar X Factors, I imagine it would be a little bit better. But that's all good. Let's get into this. Oh, am I playing? I think I'm controlling the team. I meant to do computer versus computer. You know what? If the Mighty Ducks should win the Stanley Cup, I feel like my childhood, I deserve to win it for them. What do you guys think? Let's go. And it's got to be Adam Banks out there. Center it to Jermaine, to Adam. Oh, oh. He lost the puck off his stick. I forgot that they don't have the Superstar X Factor. Mario Lemieux. Yamir Yager. Oh, no. Let's move it, boys. Charlie Conway up to Banks in the middle. The triple deke. Oh, what a save. Jermaine. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. I forgot they're all 127 pounds. Paul Coffey. I should probably not let him around me. I don't want to be the reason why we lose this game. But I'm living out of childhood, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Jermaine, get that up to Charlie Conway. Show me the triple deep, Charlie. Give it to Banks. Down to Charlie. Okay. Missed it, Jermaine. Oh, there it is. Charlie. I thought you were going somewhere else. Conway. Oh! All right. All right. You don't hit Charlie Conway like that. Who is this murky guy I think he is? Boom, boom, boom. That was a good combination. Working on my UFC. Give him a little uppercut. There you go. Overhand right. All right. Let's end this. Let's become Stanley Cup champions. Get the first line back out there. Conway, come on, buddy. Just snipe one home here. Stanley Cup finals. We're going to win the Stanley Cup on the road, and I'm completely okay with that. We're going back to 18, and 18 is just going to snipe this Goldberg style, baby. Let's go. No, can't, can't do that, can't do that. Oh my god. Tyler, skate, skate, Tyler. It's Yamir Yager. Knocks him off the puck. Jermaine covers. Chris Letang, Yager. It's a good shot. Big, big save there. Banks, can we get a little bit of speed? Oh, Banks got some speed. Banks got some speed. There's the 90 overall. Ah! Good shot, though. I'm not thinking it would take this long to, to score or get scored on, but we're going hard here, Jermaine. Banks. All right, Banks. They're just clogging up that middle, and our guys are so small. Charlie Conway, here it is. Oh, you missed the net, you bum. Come on. Oh, my. Here it is, Hall. 1v5. Someone go down low, thank you. Need a rider. J woo! Holy God. Our superstar X Factor is that important? Gordon Bombay is out there. Coach, it's coach's time. Right through the middle. Coach! Coach Gordon! The Stanley Cup champions are the mighty ducks. Let's watch this celebration. Let the announcers take this away as the mock. The Mighty Ducks are Stanley Cup champions thanks to Coach Gordon Bombay. It is what every kid who plays hockey go home, Malkin. Go home, Crosby. Go home, Latang. Go home, Yager. Go home, Mario Lemieux. What a, what a godsend team there. The boys, Charlie Conway. Gordon Bombay had one last lesson for the kids. Showed them how to snipe a goal in the Stanley Cup Finals. Look at the celebration. Woo! My favorite. And the Anaheim Mighty Ducks are Stanley Cup champions. The Tendi, what a series. Our captain, number 18. Gordon Bombay, Adam Banks, assistant captain. They all look the exact same, but that's all right. Woo! What do we got here, Monroe? Moreau. 
interesting style for number 26 of his hair. <laughs> Sam Steele. The consmite goes to Reed. Fulton Reed, a defenseman, seven goals, two assists, nine points. I don't believe that this is his stats. Maybe those were his stats in the Stanley Cup Finals, but we'll check out the stats after this. But consmite goes to Reed, and let's get the let's get it right here. Let's get the big boy out here. Moreau is our captain. Moreau, go get it. It should be Gordon Bombay picking this up, but we will pretend like it is. Come on, go get that trophy, that hardware, that beautiful Stanley Cup. Razor, you played almost 20 there it is. The, the Mighty Hockey Ducks are Stanley right Cup champions. To Taking a look at this, Fulton Reed, the defenseman, one goal, 28 assists, 29 points in the postseason. Pretty incredible. Leads the way. Charlie Conway, 21 goals in 24 games. Jermaine, 25. Adam Banks, 24. Mon or Moreau, I think, okay, 99 overall, I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, but wow, the Mighty Ducks are Stanley Cup champions, let's simulate a couple days, check out the award, see if our team won any hardware before we end off the video here, so Stanley Cup, we know we won, let's see if we won the President's Trophy, so Stanley Cup, President's Trophy goes to Detroit both years, McLaren's S. Campbell, so the Art Ross goes to Charlie Conway, is that the only trophy that we get, though? Uh, Fulton Reed wins the Conn Smite. We saw that. Gaffney actually wins the Vesna last year. Um, anyone else here? Wayne Gretzky with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay, the coffee. Charlie Conway wins the Maurice Rocket Richard both years. And he also wins the Art Ross this year, which we already saw. But that is going to do it. For this video, the Mighty Ducks franchise mode. I mean, a fun one, a blast in the past. But let me know if there's any other franchise modes or any videos that you want to see. I'll get them going for you. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching Road to 2K. Let's go. Have a great day. Peace out.